Hey everybody, this is Scott from Advanced Course Academy Online and welcome back to week six. I know that it's been intense. I know that there's a lot of, for some people, old concepts that we're getting you back into the game and kind of moving you forward, getting you into the confidence, getting into, into the world that you need to be in to basically be in this industry, to be able to get rewarded for it, to be able to have the lifestyle you want. And I know then for others, a lot of this stuff can be quite new. And that's why I want to help you with this stuff more and more. I want you to do some revision. And that's why today, in helping you basically get into this industry, I want to go back. I want to talk to you about some stuff that we've already covered. I want to get you moving. I want to get you not just studying, but I want to get you actually doing the workbooks. And I want to get you basically building a sales video. There's four things I want to talk about this week. And so the first one, basically, you've talked at, we've looked at the sales offer acronym. We've looked at track. We've looked at how all this stuff works. It's time to actually start really making some steps for yourselves. So this week's challenge, I really, really want to get you to record a sales video. And not the best one you've ever done in your life, but just I want to get you to do one, maybe 20, 20 minutes or something, and just have a go. So uh, this is what I hear from students. I hear people make excuses for moving forward or like why they're not moving forward in their own career. And some of the excuses, they kind of, they break my heart because it's just so silly. Um, take out your phone, get yourself lined up somewhere. I've got a pen on the ground here that shows me where to stand. So when I look at the camera, I know that I'm basically in the shot. I've got the screen that I can see. And so that's why my eyes, I don't always look at the camera. Sometimes I'm looking at the, the picture for me, which is, is going to look like I'm looking that way. But when I look at the camera, I've got this dot there that shows me where I'm looking. So that's kind of, you can see me just putting my finger over it. So that's, I've got a dot there to show me where to look. I want to get you to make a, a video for your industry. And so you might be in hypnotherapy or might, you might be in coaching, but that's not your industry. That's your modality. And so this is what I really want you to understand. Like when you make the video is that you might be, you know, when I was talking about those five things last week, it could be health, could be relationships, could be money, could be time, could be personal happiness. They're your industries. And so when you do research into your own industry, that it's your problems, it's your ambitions of your client that is your industry. Your modality is not your industry. So when I hear people say they want to get to the top of the hypnosis world or the coaching world, there's no such thing. <laughs> you get to the top of quit smoking or you get to the top of weight loss or you get to the top of um, cures for anxiety. Does that make sense? So when you make a video, get out your sales offer acronym again. It was in week two and we're just going to do this and I want to get you to do a video. So before we get into that stuff, I want to talk to you about the real mindset for getting into the business. A couple of key points, basically three key points that's really going to make some momentum for you. And I want you to write this down. I want you to have a paper and a pen. Stop the video now if you have to. Get out a paper and a pen and start doing this. Write this one down. Point one out of three is do one thing at a time. I've seen people fail at this more than anything else because they're multitasking. They're kind of, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And they're kind of they almost look like Michael Jackson doing the thriller dance, you know, like because he's moving from place to place. So one thing at a time, write it down, write down. I'm going to do one thing at a time. The next one I want you to do second out of three things is write this down. I will play with technology. I will get my phone out and record a sales offer video. I will hop on YouTube and upload that video. I will go on Facebook and post the link of that video onto Facebook. Even if you're not doing the whole big picture, play with technology. If you're one of those people who basically says, I'm no good at this, I'm not a technology person, I don't know what to do, that's failing in advance and that's what breaks my heart because I just hear people make up all these excuses. Now I know that you're coming from a different world than me. I know that I can be a bit weird. I know that I can be a bit nerdy. I know that if my favorite toy is a Rubik's Cube, that's weird, I know I'm a bit weird. But I wanna help you help others and I wanna help you get paid for that. And so if you just follow the steps, do you think that you'll get there? And I'm sure that you will. So point one was do one thing at a time. Point two, play with technology. The third one, so important, we've talked about this in week one, come from the client's perspective. And here's how you know. I've seen people just win and win so well and I've seen other people lose so much. And it's to do with the mindset, but here's kind of, if you can draw on a piece of paper, two categories. One is um, the client's perspective and the other is your perspective. If you're stuck in your head, or if someone you know is stuck in their head saying all the wrong stuff, this is what it's going to sound like. They're going to say, I'm broken, I don't have enough money, I can't charge that much, people won't pay that much, 
that's more about them or that's more about you. It's not about your clients. On the other side of the page, you've got to talk about the actual client. So talk about their problems, talk about their ambitions, talk about tools then after those problems and ambitions that you can help them with. Forget about how much money you have just for a second and start talking about them, start talking about their problems, start talking about their ambitions and I promise you that things will just improve. Another thing you hear people say when they're talking about themselves, they're basically talking about how tired they are or they're talking about how overwhelmed they are and they're going, ooh, not right now, I can't do this. Again, that's either about you or that's about your friend who's talking that way. When you're talking about your clients, you've got to talk about them being overwhelmed, talk about them being tired. Stuff gets easier, I promise, the more you do it. But you've got to think this way. You've got to think, how am I going to bring prestige? How am I going to talk about their problems and their ambitions? And how am I going to basically talk about results? And so that's another thing I'll be talking to you soon about in this video. There's a Venn diagram I've got. So it's got these three circles. So just check out this chart. Just take a look. That's the one. So we're going to be talking about that in just a second. So once you've got written down, point one, do one thing at a time. Point two, play with technology. And number three, think from your client's perspective. They're the top three things that are gonna get you moving in business. Now, for the Venn diagram, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I want you, to, again, with a pen and a paper, write this down, because this is the, with the sales offer acronym, this is um, a checklist which is so much shorter than the sales offer acronym. This is a Venn diagram, and so if you've done that kind of high school maths, where you can see, just looking at this, um, this chart now, this Venn diagram, there are three circles. Right there in the middle, what you've got is conversion. How do you convert? Let's say you've already got traffic, you've already got people coming to you, you've already got people who basically are either opting into your database, you are building your database, or you're getting inquiries, or you're getting people talking to you, getting people into your Facebook room, you're getting people watching your videos, but then how do you get the money? There is reach, which is traffic and finding people and getting them in, but there is also revenue, which is how do you get the money? That's conversion. And there are three main principles to create conversion. Like if you wanna get money from somebody, there are three principles that they are looking for unconsciously and they don't even know that they're looking for it. So number one, take a look at the diagram, draw it, get something circular in your house and draw, like I used a cup, I used a CD spindle, um, just draw circles. Draw this Venn diagram. So number one is relevance. So you remember when I was talking about your client's point of view or your client's perspective? Relevance is talking about problems such as, um, I'm smoking, I have too much weight that I would like to lose and I don't know how, I cannot sleep. Um, what's another problem? Anxiety, depression, insomnia, body image, relationships, divorce, anger, yelling, screaming. And this is all gonna be covered in the advanced course as well. So I, of course, urge and recommend that just get into the course, keep moving forward, don't think about it, but move ahead. And we've got a price that really is gonna help you out. But make sure in this Venn diagram that you're really paying attention to this part. Be relevant to your client's point of view. Talk about them, talk about their problems, which we've talked about, and then ambitions such as they wanna build a business or they want to improve their marriage. So this is below ze sorry, above zero stuff. Below zero is when they have a problem, and above zero is when they have a goal or an ambition. And this is what I want to get you really putting into your sales offer ad is that you've got to be relevant to what they're currently looking for. So let's say that if you're not relevant, can you see just opposite that circle, you've got if you give them results or if you have distinctions that show how you're better than everyone else, you still sound like spam if you're not living or speaking within your client's category of what they're looking for right now. So what if you said, we've got the best bananas in all the land, and someone says, I hate bananas. That becomes spam. What if someone says, I'm gonna sell you nappies, and you're like, well, I'm not a mom, I'm not a dad, I don't have kids. Why are you selling me nappies? And you go, but these are the best nappies, and so that's distinction. Or you could say that, look at the results of these nappies, look at how absorbent they are, look at how they absorb odors and all sorts of stuff. But still, it's not relevant because you keep telling it to people that just maybe aren't parents. They have no need for such a thing. So if you're gonna keep advertising the wrong thing to the wrong people, if you keep advertising tools that people aren't looking for, you keep talking about the hypnosis, the coaching, the NLP, the mindfulness, the positive psychology, but you haven't talked about their problem first, which is their relevant issue, what are they looking for right now? Then you're not getting their attention. You're not beginning the sales process. You're not beginning the conversion. So like say, if I'm talking to you about my program, 
here's the two things that I want to talk to you about in doing my program before we get into distinctions and results. The first part is relevance. It's here to help you build your business and it's there to help you help others and get paid. That's kind of it. That's all I need to say to get people to do my course and it just works over and over. I get paid when I'm relevant to what people are currently looking for. So I go to places like, you know, the Academy of Hypnotic Science and my friends, um, Shane and Jess at Australian Success Academy or another really good friend of mine, um, Rick Schnabel, who's just doing some incredible stuff with me at the moment and I'm doing some incredible stuff with him at the moment and we're building like an international business as well. Um, they have lists of people who are looking to grow their business. But if you're not looking to help grow people's businesses, what are you helping people with? It could be health, it could be relationships, it could be what, what for you? It could be time management. Pick your topic, own your topic, put your flag in the ground around that topic, not around your modality. Does that make sense? So you've got to talk about their problems and their ambitions. And I know that I keep drilling this point forward, but people keep getting it wrong. Okay. <laughs> so the next one, results. This is how I get um, a business coaching client. I talk about results. I say, did you know that in my first six months that I got basically 40 clients a week? I was on the Hamish and Andy show. When I went and did seminars, I outsold all of my lecturers. I got paid more than all of my lecturers. And each year I keep beating my own last record because I, I have results. I've learned how to do this and now I've got the points on the board. That's if I'm talking about business coaching. Although if I'm talking about hypnotherapy, smoking has been my, my speciality for so long, since 2010, um, right at the start of 2010. Smoking, I've been doing it since. I've seen over 3,000 smokers and I've got them off cigarettes. That's talking about a result. Do you notice like just how naturally that my mind just goes to, we'll just talk about a result. I've seen over 3,000 smokers. If you haven't seen over 3,000 smokers, that's okay. But you're going to have to reference some kind of a result, such as the tool that you're using, what kind of results does it get? And so if you're using hypnosis, if you're using coaching, if it was smoking that you were talking about, then you talk about how your modality then, because you've already talked about the problem and ambition, now you're talking about the modality or the tool, the hypnosis, the coaching, the NLP, is more successful perhaps than other methods, patches, pills, sprays, gums, or if you're helping them with relationships, your methods are more successful, here's the results on the board, that other people have had using that same technique than they have using alternative forms of psychology, alternative forms of trying to get along. Does that make sense? You've got to talk about points on the board. The points could be yours. The points could be some points that you've researched. And so again, if you're new to this and you don't feel that you've got enough results, go out there and interview people who have results. It's amazing how open they are and how they love um, new exposure to new audiences. So if you've got even 50 people in your database, if you've got 50 friends on Facebook, that's a database. If you have more than 50 friends on Facebook, you interview these people and you just share that on Facebook. Already, you've helped that expert expose themselves to a wider audience. And you've also then talked about some results. You've shown that you're rubbing shoulders with the people that have already got results within the ambition or problem that you're selling. Does that make sense? And if you don't have results on the board, can you see opposite it down the bottom? What does it say? So you've got results, you've got relevance, you've got distinction, but if you don't have the results, what does that make you? It makes you sound like a student. If you basically just say, I have these great tools, even if you're relevant and you say, well, I'm here to help you quit smoking, or I'm here to help you lose weight, or I'm here to help you with your relationships, you just can sound, or people can sound, like a brand new person in the field if they don't talk about results. That's why if you have results, claim them, and think back, remember some results that you've had. You've probably had a much more rich, experienced life than sometimes where you give yourself credit. So you're not as new as you might think that you are. That if you're one of those people who are giving yourself a pat on the back to say, look at how much I've achieved, then congratulations, because you're being resourceful with the results that you're claiming. Fantastic, talk about, it doesn't matter even if you've um, charged these people money or whether you did it for free. If you've got a result, claim those results. You could have seen 20 smokers already or 20 weight loss clients and on average you're getting an amazing result even if you didn't charge them. You can start charging now but claim the results of the people that you've already helped. Get video testimonials. Video testimonials are one of the best ways and you'll see mine at the end of this video. Video testimonials is one of the best ways to show results on the board. So I've achieved this much and look at these people who basically say I've worked with Scott for over a year so it's not just like I met the guy once and he seemed to have a nice haircut. These are people that I've worked with for over a year 
and just check out what they say. So get your own video testimonials as well. If you work with someone, ask permission. And this is where there's a little bit of confusion sometimes when we talk about confidentiality. Confidentiality is that what happens in the session you offer that you keep that confidential, that you don't tell anybody. And then some students are asking me, well, in that case, are you allowed to have a video testimonial where your client talks about you? Isn't that breaking confidentiality? And no, it's not, because your client will talk in the video from their own free will about what they want to talk about. They'll say about you what they want to say. Then you get to promote the testimonials that are your best ones. So you're not breaking any confidentiality if your client chooses to do a video for you, because if something's really secret and they don't want the world knowing it, they're not going to put it in your testimonial video. So if you have to, get written consent to use their video. Does that make sense? There's a difference between what's secret and in a session and the testimonial that they give you. Does that make sense? Good. Third part, third circle, distinct. So we've got relevant, which means you're talking about problems and ambitions. You've got results, which means video testimonials and points on the board and perhaps interviewing other experts in the field. Distinct is where you talk about how you're different than the rest of the industry. My number one favorite thing that you can say to show that you're different from everyone else is that you're the only one at this level or that you're the only one who has this particular tool. So that you are perhaps cheaper and that's not where I want you to start because that's a discount. That's almost sometimes like begging and there's no need for it. But once in a while you might do it if you're doing a special launch or promotion, that's fine. You are easier than everyone else. You are faster, you've got more of a done for you approach. You specialize in this more than anybody else. And that's the more than everybody else part. So if you're not distinct, you sound kind of like the same as everyone else. So the three issues you can have with this Venn diagram, the three S's we like to call it, spam. If you're not relevant to their problem or their ambition, already they delete you as spam. This is how you get conversion. Don't sound like spam, be relevant. They will listen to what you have to say. Another one, which is don't sound like a student or a newbie, sound like you're an expert. So to do that, you need to have results either on the board or you need to either interview people who have results or you've got to video people who claim that you've got results with them because they're your video testimonials. The other one is you don't want to sound the same as everybody else. So what that is basically is when you basically say, I've got some results and I'm relevant talking about your problem or ambition, but yeah, my program is about, you know, one in another hundred that are out there. Like with my advanced course Academy online, the big program, there is no other course like this. I've basically done over 60 of these online courses, traveled around Australia, learning this stuff, read so many books on it, met the, the world leaders. And it's just incredible how the time that it cost me to put this together and the hundred thousand dollars it cost and the five years it took me to put this together that now over five months, you can do it for basically as little as under a grand or for as little as under $200 a month. It's kind of ridiculous like how good that is that all of that information has been crunched down into something that's so much easier to follow and it's just so available, so cheap at a price point that almost anybody can afford. Does that make sense? That's a distinction. The relevance is basically the problem or the ambition. Grow your clinic, serve people, get paid. And the results are, well, you know, like say I was seeing up to 40 clients per week just in my first six months. Since then, I've been balancing that with seminars and online courses. I've been doing more. Even just last week, I did over six grand with my hypnotherapy, my coaching, and my videos. Four grand of that was actually just from quit smoking clients. And so my business continues to grow. So that's just last week that I did that. And so that's not even just from coaching, that's just from quit smoking clients. I did over four grand just in quit smoking hypnotherapy clients without the, the business stuff as well, without my videos. That was extra on top. Does that make sense? So conversion in the middle is when you bring those three together. Results, you've got to bring distinction, you've got to bring relevance, bring them together. This is a Venn diagram that I want you to use that when you do the sales off a video, I want you to basically get out the Venn diagram and write percentages next to results, next to relevant, next to distinction, just to see how you go. Does that make sense? Good. So I want to give you a quick preview of what you have to look forward to in our advanced course. This is a video to show you straight away, just off the bat, we're giving you some of it for free. This is the video that shows you how I did my five grand weeks in hypnotherapy. It shows you how I did it in Facebook. It shows you the ad. It shows you basically just everything I got right now. We're just going to show it to you as a preview for the course that you've got to look forward to. It's amazing. This is how I did my first five grand week in hypnotherapy. This is how I built my Facebook ad. So I really hope you enjoy it. 
Um, that's coming up in about a minute. Just before we do, that plus the testimonials, record a sales video. Do one. Get out the sales offer acronym. Here it is on the screen again. Here's the acronym. As you can see, it is self, ambition, life story, environment, show bag, opportunity, features, freebies, emotion, and register. That's all you've got to say. You've got the workbook. By now, if you've filled it out, you can basically just use that and that's your ad. Get out a phone, video yourself, make sure that the lighting is okay, make sure that your background's not too confusing. Use YouTube, upload the video from your phone to YouTube, then drop a link from that YouTube video into your Facebook groups. Already you've got a sales offer. Um, that's kind of it, that's what I want to get you to do. It's so important, get in the game. If you're not really feeling like kind of this is uh, that easy, do more of it. <laughs> Absolutely, do more until it becomes easier. Um, I'm kind of like, I can be a very nervous guy. And so for me to bring myself to do sales offer videos where I've done up to $10,000 just from a video, it took some goes. I've done a few videos today, even in a testimonial for a friend, it took me three or four goes to do a one minute video. But that's because like say with what I'm doing, I'm warming myself up, I'm getting into the headspace, and that's what I want to get you to do. Put aside 20, 30 minutes out of your week Film yourself. You might, as I did, deleted it and did it again, deleted it and did it again. That's fine, that's how you get good. That's how you get good. So promise me, promise me as a minimum, besides doing the workbooks, get out your phone, film yourself, film a sales offer, get into the headspace, get into the game, make this your year, make sure that you're basically doing reach and revenue, which is that you're getting your stuff out there but you're also asking for money to be paid so that you can help people. The world needs you more than ever before. Review this entire course, because this course is yours for life. And no, it's not supposed to be that easy, but it's also not a one and done approach. You don't basically just get this course, watch it once, and then put it on the shelf, because that's called shelf help. Like that saying, have you ever thought that perhaps that your library knows more than you? This is a course, it's jam packed, guys. There is so much in it, review it over and over, do the next course, continue your journey. I know that you're not all gonna do it, but enough of you absolutely will, and I just can't wait to see you in the room talking to you, adding so much value. Until next time, I'm Scott from Advanced Course Academy Online. Thank you so much for doing this course with me. It's been a pleasure. Write to me in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer as quick as I can. Most times I'll get to you under, in under a week, um, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. Bear with me, but ask the questions. Don't be one of those people that just kind of leave it and just leave their dreams just to die. Get out there, get back on the horse. So I'm Scott from Advanced Course Academy Online. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next course. Check out this next part of the video, the free part that I was telling you about. This is traffic. This is how to make a Facebook ad. Copy it step by step. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the other side. Everybody, this is the Facebook video and now that you've seen the web page you've seen me play with it a bit and I've decided to do this one in screenshots because it just saves me all of the uploading and it saves you then having to to wait to see it upload so basically it's just to save you a whole bunch of time so as you can see that when you make a Facebook ad um, it asks you these questions there's boost your post there's promote your page, send people to your web page, increase conversions to your web page, get installs on your app, increase engagement in your app, reach people near your business, raise attendance at your events, get people to claim your offer, and get video views. Um, a lot of people just kind of skip this stuff, and a lot of them just go straight to the first one that I did, was basically just send people to your website, because it seems like um, the most logical choice. And what Facebook does is that they're very, very smart in their 
algorithms and their computers and the way that they understand the people who use Facebook that you're going to be advertising to, they tell Facebook um, an awful massive amount of information about themselves. And so you can actually help Facebook to help you out by telling them what you're planning to do with this traffic. And so because Facebook knows all this information about people, they know who's most likely just to click to, to go to your web page. They also know who's more likely to convert to a sale. So for instance, let's say with a track acronym, you might be just looking to get people to opt in. If you're getting people to opt in, which one of these things do you think should happen? Should it be promote your page? Should it be send people to your web page? The idea is um, if you're just looking to, to promote your page, your page is to get likes um, to your Facebook page. If you're trying to get people to opt into your web page, send people to your web page is the best one. If you're looking to make a sale, then increase conversions on your web page is the best one. And so there's something called a conversion tracking pixel, which I'll show you about. So with this on the next slide, um, as you can see that I've put in my address, that's my um, domain name address of the web page you've seen me build on Kajabi. Then there's the name, it asks you what it's going to be called, so healthy living converted. This is the name of the, the tracking pixel. A tracking pixel or the actual the conversion tracking pixel of what this is. It's a little bit of code that Facebook gives me that I get to put onto my Kajabi web page or whatever web page you have. You put it onto your thank you page and when you put that pixel onto your thank you page it means the thank you page comes after the sale. So logically if someone has paid you money they land on your thank you page that person was a good lead because the behavior that they committed to is they gave you money. So would it make sense that you want to track the, the people that came to you through Facebook? Facebook wants to know who paid you. The reason that you want Facebook to know who paid you is that Facebook's automatically going to start fine-tuning your traffic sources to make sure that they send you people who look like the people who have already paid you. Does that make sense? So basically, Facebook knows an abundance of information about people. They know that people who commit certain behaviors have particular um, stuff going on in their profile, such as have they just become engaged, or have they just become married, or have they just left a relationship, or are they an online spender, or are they someone who likes this page versus likes that page? Are they on a lot? Are they not on a lot? All of these behaviors actually give Facebook an incredibly clear snapshot of, of what a person actually their online behavior profile looks like and so if you then have Facebook understand who's paying you and what their snapshot looks like you're doing yourself a massive favor because then Facebook's gonna send you cheaper more qualified traffic so moving on so there's this thing here that says your ad will not be optimized for conversions because your conversion tracking pixel isn't working correctly. Now what that means is that Facebook hasn't seen yet that I've actually uploaded my pixel. Don't worry about it, that'll all get fixed because I've taken the, the tracking pixel from them and then I've put that on my web page. So down here, if you want to know where do I get this so-called tracking pixel, Facebook generates it for you. That's where it puts it. And then I put that onto my web page. So if you're not building your own web page, you should talk to your webmaster, your web page builder, and they can put it there for you. Or if you're into HTML coding, they'll put it directly under the part that says the header. Next, so on the Kajabi page, on my thank you page, this is how um, good Kajabi is. It just lets me um, chuck it in there. And so what I did is I clicked HTML so that I can um, basically get into the code of Kajabi, which brings up a window like this, which lets me just dump my tracking pixel that Facebook gave me and put it there. I'm done then. That's as complicated as it needs to get. So to reiterate, I grab this piece of code here that Facebook gives me. I go to my Kajabi page, the thank you page. I've clicked HTML and I've dumped it there. Then I've hit update and voila. Next, you hit the next button. You continue. 
what we're looking at um, here it is it could be that at this point um, you may not be the person doing it um, you may not be the person building your own web page when it says um, how would you like to verify that your conversion tracking pixel how would you like to, to verify it um, I'm verifying mine by going to my thank you page and that's how it understands that I have landed there Facebook basically just wants to know that the pixel has been activated or that you've landed on that page once it's done that it's happy so it's not a big deal if you're doing it yourself once you've put your code up on your thank you page you've actually got to go on the thank you page next we who do you want your ads to reach and so I've got an audience that I'm calling um, healthy living it's one that I made before in a previous video and I want to include people who speak English um, people who are into hypnotherapy and also people who are into business because I found that it's a good market for the way that I talk I also want a behavior to be people who make Facebook payments higher than average spend and as you can see that's still 2600 people that it's letting me connect with um, again it's saying that I haven't landed on my thank you page um, another error that it's going to give me here is that it's going to say that six dollars per day is too small of a budget so I'm going to change that to ten dollars a day um, but basically that's how you build an ad click for click if you go through and build a Facebook ad that's what they're going to ask you next is that you need some ad copy so I've made this picture and as you remember about the black and white stuff I was talking about with contrast I've got me looking like I'm about to faint or fall over um, and then I changed um, my ad I stopped I didn't want it to say healthy living login I think that's automated text that it generated so what I wanted there is I wanted it to say make an appointment and so then you can see here where it says live healthy for you and not for others make an appointment today and so I'm putting that out as a test now which is what you do you put it out as a test and then I want my button to say um, book now so as you can see make an appointments my text and then live a healthier life in three easy steps know your food create your identity and take and then I ran out of room so hopefully that will be enticing for people something that it will make you do is that your ad must come from a page that you own so I own this advanced course Academy and I'm using that to sponsor this page sorry to sponsor this ad and so that is the ad that's how it's going to appear in the news feed it's going to say sponsored advanced course Academy um, there's a button that says book now it says like page above it and then pending review this ad did get reviewed and you can see that I did add um, I turned my budget to ten dollars but essentially that's how you make a Facebook ad um, in future videos especially in the viral stuff we're going to be talking more about retargeting which is that somebody's seen your ad once um, we want them to see your ad again at this point because I've already added some retargeting code to my web page all I would have to do now is copy that first ad and make my traffic source be the custom audience and again we're going to show more of that in um, month four I think it is with the viral month the um, the viral marketing and so I hope that um, have a go at building a Facebook ad what I've found especially like with some friends of mine that have helped out that have earned thousands per week because they decided to go big one of the things they discovered is that if you don't go big then you go small so not only do you have to have a landing page that converts and you have to have traffic that converts but I would suggest that ten dollars a day it sounds like a safe test but it's also a bit of a waste of time one of my friends recently was telling me about it, that he put three hundred dollars in and he got um, something like up to ten new paying smoking clients just in that weekend and he charges them all around four hundred bucks so to do the maths on that he's definitely ahead one client paid for all of that traffic the other nine basically for him besides his expenses and tax the rest is gravy uh, so in the next video we're going to be going into Google um, we're going to be setting up a Google AdWords ad basically straight back to this weight loss campaign we're going to show you how to do it and the easiest way to stuff up a um, 
a Google campaign is to have a really, really poor headline. <laughs> and so watch the next video, have a play with the tools, make sure that you're just having a play because this seems to be one of the biggest mistakes that people make. They, they get stuck in this emotion of technology overwhelm or marketing overwhelm versus just have a play at these things that I got good at these things by studying it and buying other people's courses, of course. But I really became good at this stuff when after studying it, I played with the tools. And that's the only way that you can really learn how to do it is that click around. You've got the screenshots. You've got to click by click. In future months, next month, I'm going to be taking you through um, PayPal and how to set that up and how to set up a merchant. Um, it's not that hard. You just need to know where to click. It, it actually, it is that hard if you don't know where to click. But I'm going to be giving you screenshots, so it's going to be not that hard for you because you're going to know where to click. All right, check out the next video, play with the tools, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, I'm Lisa from Lisa Heston Nutrition. I just thought I'd share with you guys a little bit about Scott Lawrence and his Advanced Academy Online program. It turns out that uh, starting a business is actually pretty hard. It's kind of like baking a cake. You have so many different ingredients and if you miss one or you get the steps wrong, then it's just a nightmare. That's what I was finding was happening. I had so much information going on from different people and all those, you know, gurus that come up on Facebook to say, yeah, press me, like me, do my program. I had so much information with overload. So I ended up doing nothing. Then steps in Scotty to the rescue. His program is clear, it's concise, he's done all the hard work for you. You can just go through the steps, it's easy, it's simple to implement and you know what, it's been just <laughs> such a relief. So I can't recommend Scotty's program more highly. It's made sense out of stuff for me that didn't make sense before. I've been able to um, just simplify everything. You know, I'm, I'm a single mum, so time is poor. Um, everything is strategic, you know, like everything has to be planned out. So thank you, Scotty, for giving me the opportunity to do your program. Please, guys, get onto it. It'll save you so much time and energy and then allow you to grow the business that you really want to have. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Hi, I'm Stephanie Brennan, founder of Step Loans, and this is a quick video to say a huge thank you to Scott Lawrence for all your help with improving my videos. The tips and techniques have really helped me, and it's been great to have such positive reinforcement and valuable feedback. So thank you so much. I highly recommend if anybody is looking to take their business or their videos to the next level, get in touch with Scott. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hi, I'm Laura Huxley from Speaker's Little Secret, and I've recently been working with Scott Lawrence. Now some of the things I've taken from working with Scott going through his hypnotherapy program has really been around consistency, clarity and getting some really clear ideas on what strategies are going to work for my business. You know quite often there's so, so much out there, there are so many things, so many different things that we can be using, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, you know, website, whatever it is you're having a look at. Scott's really enabled me to work out what's going to work for my business and what's going to work for my particular audience. And I think that that's really, really key. One of the main things, again, that I've taken from working with Scott is really having that consistency and the quality of that consistency. We can take action consistently, but it might not be inspired action. It might kind of be like, oh God, tired, um, exhausted action. But what I found from working with Scott is what tools I can use to make sure that I am coming from an inspired place and feeling that motivation when I'm putting things out there because it makes a big difference. So thank you so much, Scott. If you are thinking about working with Scott, if you're sitting on the fence, I'd say just dive in and do it. He's absolutely a fantastic coach. He will guide you and support you in a really loving and warm environment. So go on, dive in. Thanks so much, Scott. I'll speak to you soon. Hi, my name is Romy, 
and I want to thank Scott Lawrence for helping me move forward with my coaching. Before working with him, I had all these creative ideas, but no plan or structure to implement them. Scott allowed me to find more clarity and realize what my next steps were in order to set myself up. So once again, Scott, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mac Lover, founder of Love Reconnection Coaching. Now, as a coach, I think I'm pretty good, but getting clients is another story. And finding Scott has been a godsend. I really just didn't know where to start. And Scott's guidance has been incredible. He's got a wealth of knowledge in the area. He's able to go step by step in a way that you know, a technophobe like me can actually understand. And he has the techniques to actually bring clients into you so that you're not spending ridiculous amounts of time trying different things that don't work. Scott's methods are tried and tested and he has the results on the board. It's just been an amazing eye-opening experience for me. I really enjoy working with Scott. He's given me so much time. He's been so patient with me, it's been fantastic. I would absolutely highly recommend anyone to work with Scott if you really want to take your business to the next level. And if you can do the course, I would really recommend you do that. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Nancy Hewitt, clinical hypnotherapist, Kyabram, Victoria. I've been in business over 30 years in various industries. And in that time, I've learned one very important thing, that there's always more to learn. I took on Scott's How to Massively Grow Your Hypnotherapy Practice course, and it's been fantastic. It's got simple, solid advice and suggestions that you can put into practice immediately. One of them in particular that I hadn't even thought of before had clients coming through the door. So I really recommend Scott's courses to you. He's a generous, kind, sharing person who loves to build relationships that benefit both parties. Thanks very much, Scott. Hi there, I'm Michelle and uh, I just want to send a big shout out to Scott Lawrence, uh, an incredible coach who I've been coaching with off and on now for the last year and have had phenomenal results from going from ground zero to full workshops. Um, Scott is incredibly generous, incredibly knowledgeable and has supported me to, to a very, very successful place. I can't recommend Scotty enough. He, he, uh, he delivers, he delivers, and there's, there's not too many people out there that um, I've come across that have been able to um, deliver to the extent that Scotty has. Um, yeah, thank you, Scotty, from, from the bottom of my heart. You're amazing. Cheers, looking forward to this next chapter with you. Bye. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, it's Bianca here from Southeastern Hypnotherapy and Counseling. I uh, just wanted to give Scott a quick shout out. Um, for all the help that he's given me throughout the last six or 12 months with my business. Uh, like most therapists out there, marketing was something that I just didn't really want to think about. It's, it's, it's not something that I feel like I'm innately good at, um, not something I knew anything about. Um, and so when Scott reached out to me and we started uh, talking a little bit about my business and what my aims were, um, yeah, he helped me to really focus on what it is that I want out of my business um, and how it is I'm going to get it. And probably the main thing that Scott helped me with was with my website. Um, Scott's got a really good way of thinking from a client's perspective. And there was, you know, a number of changes that, that I made to my website, which I felt um, have really benefited, um, yeah, overall. So, um, Look, anyone that's thinking about uh, doing some training or a course or anything with Scott, I'd highly recommend. He's very generous with his information, uh, you know, very good at thinking from a client's perspective, and he's been there and done it all before. So, you know, he's definitely somebody I would recommend. Hi, guys, I'm Adriana, and I'm just about to finish my certificate as a hypnotherapist. So much knowledge, and I feel confident about starting signing clients, but how do I get the clients in? I was really concerned. I had no idea and every course I was doing in marketing got so confused until I spoke to my beautiful new friend who is now assisting me, holding my hand in a very simple two steps. Thank you, Lawrence, to have to get my first clients once I finish my graduation. It's like so simple. I really recommend you for you to make an appointment by his first system, which is only six weeks, 
online and have a one-to-one -one chat with Lawrence because Scott is going to really give you specifically what you really need. Simply, simply two or three steps to get the clients the following day after you did your graduation. It's very, very simple. Go for it. I'm excited. I just have, can't wait. I can't wait to put it in practice. It's very, very easy. Very, very easy. See you soon. Hi, my name's Shane Fozard, co-founder of Australian Success Academy and head trainer. And so what I'd like to do is just very quickly tell you about Scott Lawrence. Uh, I've been friends with Scott for a number of years and Scott is one of the sort of guys that has been through so many different courses and he knows so much information and really is inspired to help people learn how they can understand that information and in order to take action. And I can tell you that personally, uh, I've had a, a, a number of times where I've been uh, trying to get my Facebook marketing happening and Scott is so generous with his time and his information I've given him a phone call uh, he's guided me through some steps and the great thing about it is in a lot of cases it's just knowing what to click at what time and then just really the strategy and Scott has that strategy so if you're interested in working with Scott I highly recommend it thanks for watching bye